Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of Mon Bazoo. I know it's been a little while since I last played. Where's my car? Where's all my... What? Oh, why is it on the beach? God, it's been like a month since I last played. I forget about everything. Where's my truck? Anyways, welcome back to the Canadian Life Simulator. Uh, today, we're finally going to work on hopefully getting the last car that we need. One of the coolest cars, in my opinion. The race car. Oh, I remember where my freaking truck is. Is it still in the lake? Hold on. We're going to have to go to town anyway. So let's go check out and see if we can get my truck back, maybe. Oh, here's my truck. Did I tow it back? I must have towed it back. I, I forgot about everything, clearly. Well, I kind of screwed this up. Now both my cars are in town. Um, I had to come here to get some more maple syrup. Anyways, that's something else I want to do today oh, is... Back. Uh, finally get the canning equipment for the old maple syrup. Oh, I did have maple syrup in there. I didn't even see it. I'm, it must have been hiding. But yeah, I definitely want to get some maple syrup upgrades today. It's been a long time since I've done any sort of maple syrup in this game. And we're starting to get broke. So unfortunately, we're going to have to do that again because that's the only decent way to make money in this game, at least. So yeah, we'll worry about the truck later. I'm going to head to um, the racetrack. I was hoping to buy some NOS today, but the underground guy isn't around. I think my car should be good enough. I don't think there's too many upgrades that I need. I haven't really tried to do too many of the races at all. So yes, if you remember, it's been a long time since we've been back here, but we got the oval done. I did that in under 18 seconds, just. I still have to do the big one, which is the track in under 51. My best time was 57, and I haven't even tried the drag yet. So I guess we'll start off with the drag. Um, that should be pretty easy, I think, with this car. I haven't tuned it, though, so I might actually need to do that. I am definitely not a gearhead, though, so when it comes to tuning, I'm kind of dumb. So uh, I'd rather not do that if we don't need to, I think. Yeah, this would obviously be the drag over here. I guess this is just a solo run. That's fine. I mean, it's a drag race, so I, I kind of know where I have to go. And here we go. A little bit of a delayed start. That's okay. Not the best shifts, but I think 10-2. 10, 10, I don't remember if I needed 10 or 10-3. So did I get it? I don't think I did. Oh, reward if under 10.3. So first try and I get it. Where do I go? Oh, I, I can just claim it here. That's right. Okay, there we go. Where is... Oh. Oh. Interesting. I thought this was for my car. Obviously, this is to add on to this. So good start. The hard one is now, though. So the track... Um, Yeah, from what I remember, it's a pretty big track. Obviously, it's a minute lap. All right, let's give this a try. Um, go. Okay. Jeez, didn't really give me much time to prepare. Uh, is this the oval? No, I'm pretty sure the uh, oval is part of the track. Yeah, we're going to go off over here. This is where... Oh, my God. Okay, you know what? That's fine. This is okay. Oh, I missed it. Okay, 81. That actually, considering I, I screwed up twice, that wasn't too bad. This is the hard turn. This is when I got to slow down a little bit. Aside from this... We actually might be okay. I mean, I can I can take shortcuts, right? Perfect. This might be good. Oh, came in a bit hot there. Really hot there. Damn it. Damn it. That was going well until it wasn't. All right. I still think that was a pretty good lap. It's a good thing we can get a running start on these laps. There we go. 54. That was new best. Slowly getting down there. And that lap wasn't even that good considering I uh, fell off the course for a little bit. I definitely should be able to do it with this build. Clearly, I built a good car, like, first try. Oh, these are the bad turns for me. This is definitely going to be a better lap. I don't think it's going to be enough, though. Unless we take this corner really hard. Too much. Damn it! Oh, that, that, that was going good, too. Uh-oh. Did something just fall out of my car? Uh-oh. Yeah, this is this is bad. My car is... Okay, this is... this is. Oh, my God. Um, did, did, was, was that something out of my car? Dude. Um... Well, there's no way I'm going to get back from here. What? How do I break everything? Um, what is that down there? My poutine! I don't want soggy poutine! Okay, well, there's no way I'm dealing with that. So we're just going to reload and pretend that that whole starting didn't happen. I mean, I don't like doing that, 
but that was not my fault. That was a game-breaking glitch, and there's no way I'm going to have to deal with towing my car back and losing whatever fell off the car. I did see an actual piece fall off of it. So we'll try again, just like Groundhog Day. Okay, we're back at the track. This time, hopefully, we don't uh, blow out of existence. Okay, that was a really good lap, but I did a, a, a stopping start. So I think we got to get 51. That's going to be rough, man. This might take a while. Unless I do things like this and they work out. Or I just break the game again. That might be dumb. Ah, that was such a good lap. Oh, I might have to actually work on this car. I really don't want to. Okay, this is my first, like, decent lap. I actually used the brake pedal a bit, which is shocking. And, ooh, that was a pretty good turn, I think. Come on. I really wish it showed me the time. Yes! Oh, that was way better than expected. Holy crap. It's almost like, you know, using brakes is a good idea. Power is not the only thing that wins races. Oh, my God. That went so well. All right. I guess I don't have to tune you after all. You can stay ugly and stupid. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, that's right. I still have to do the drag race, but that's pretty freaking easy with this car. Anyways, we got tires, baby. Throw those things on. Let's go win a drag race. And we are done. Give me my freaking race car. Thank you very much. Ah, there we go. Turbo go burr. This car has grip for days. I would assume so with these aerodynamics. So that's it. I think that's officially the final car in the game, at least currently, that we can get. And probably the coolest one. I mean, look at this thing. I don't even know how to turn it on. Um, should I buckle myself in? Definitely don't need the parking brake. Uh, I don't even know how much fuel it has. There's, there has to be a push start. I mean, it's a freaking race car. Oh, no, there's a key right there. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, hold on. I'm going to give it some gas. Am, am, I, am, am I dumb? Like, what, what's what's going on here? Did you actually, like, give me an empty car? Is there no gas in this? Don't tell me that, because I don't know where my cherry cans are. Oh, God. I think it's actually empty. If, if it isn't empty, I'm very confused. Hold on. Please? Oh, God damn it. I wonder if I can put it in neutral and push it. Go! Why am I so weak? It's in neutral. It's a light car. I mean, it's got nothing in it. Oh, I'm so close, but so far, because I don't know where the hell my jerry cans are. I think I lost them when I turned my truck into a boat. I think we need to go to town, see if the, my jerry cans are in the truck. Actually, may, I think I should go home first, because I they might be there. I know I can talk to a guy to get items back, so we might need to do that as well. I am going to drive this race car if it's the last thing I do. Oh, wait, I remember what happened to my jerry cans. They vanished on my boat adventure. So I think the guy you gotta talk to, he's not sitting out there. Why is he not sitting out there? He always sits out there. He's usually on this chair. Where the hell's my friend that I've never talked to? I think this is the guy I need to get my crap back. Why is everything so hard? Why? I just need a jerry can. Can't we just go to, like, Canadian Tire and pick one up? Why, why, why is it going to be hard in this game? I think I'll just come back tomorrow and pray that he's there. Oh, I think I do have a jerry can on my boat. Okay. Well, I have one of them. I should probably find the other one, though. I mean, I had to buy a whole cabin just to get an extra jerry can. So, at least we got this one, though. Wait, they're both on the boat. Interesting. So, if you remember, they vanished... Uh, they must have had to patch the game, and it looks like they, uh, they, they came back to life. So I guess I didn't lose them after all, thankfully. All right, screw taking the logical vehicle today. Being that we just got this bad boy, and it can fit a gas can, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna regret this, but I'm gonna take this out. Oh yeah, here we go. This thing might still be the fastest vehicle in this game. I just gotta make sure I don't lose my gas can. Oh my god. Oh, God, I love this thing. You know what? Just for science, I'm going to freaking do it, man. I'm going to freaking do it. Okay, gas can test was a complete success. And we should be able to get out of here easily because we're in an off-road car. Okay, brakes, brakes. That was actually... That went way better than expected. Wow, that was smooth. All right, well, that was a fun adventure. Uh, now let's try the new vehicle out as well. Assuming this is what was wrong with it, which is stupid. Why would you give me a car with no fuel in it at all? All right, there we go. So two jerry cans. That should last like a lap. Perfect. Close it up. Definitely has enough fuel now. You can see it right at the tip. Okay, and let's try this again. There we go. Woo! 
All right, I think this is pretty easy to drive. Why is my door open? Let's close that. I th feel like I should buckle up, but I have no idea if this is going to be fast or not. This is a nice feel. Let's use this one. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at this thing. Ooh. I didn't expect it to sound like that. It clearly has a pretty big turbo. Let's just take it around the oval. I don't know. I mean, it definitely has way better grip. I don't feel like I'm going that fast, though. Oh, and the understeer when you hit the brakes is freaking brutal. Uh, no, I don't, I don't want to hit that. Thank you. All right. Can we... I don't think we can race with this. If I remember correctly, you can only use the Koenig for that. I really wish I could just to see the time difference. Maybe I can. Oh, I can. Okay. All right. Let's give this a try and see if we can beat our times then. I thought somebody said I couldn't use this for the uh, races. Ah, okay. The understeer on this, I hate. But how do we do? Yeah, okay. It definitely is faster. That was with a uh, stop start and I still got my best uh, speed. And I'm definitely not very good at controlling this beast. But there we go. 16 seconds. Okay. I think I underestimated the speed of this thing. All right. I'm going to try my luck at the track. The thing I hate about this car is it doesn't have any ABS. So the moment I tap the brakes, the wheels just lock up. I have to go extra slow and gear down for that exact reason. But with how good the grip is on this thing, I still think we're going to have an amazing lap here. You can see I'm just sticking to the road. But yeah, there we go. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I tried to hit the brakes to slow down on that turn and just skidded right by. <laughs> so frustrating. Okay, this is going much better. This is the hardest part for this car. So I got to really brake early. There we go. This will be a good lap for sure. Definitely could improve a bit going a little faster. But yeah, 48 seconds. That's insane. So all that I'm curious about now is, is there new challenges for this car? Or is this just allowing me to race just to kind of compare, which is really nice. I like that they at least added that. It'd be nice if this car had its own unique challenges as well. Yeah, but as you can see, it's the only thing I can do is the Koenig only. So yeah, deceptively fast car. I think, you know what? We should probably paint this yellow as well. <laughs> All right, coming in hot. Let's see if we can do this. Nope, can't, can't do it. That's ow. Yep, French slur indeed. Ah, uh, there we go. Now, this is truly my car. <laughs> I love how one can of spray paint is all I need. There we go. Now you look fitting. Actually, can I paint these two? Please? Oh, I'm painting the rims. Okay, I'm, well, I'm painting the insides of the rims. I'm cool with that. Look at that. One can did it all. You know what? I should probably paint these two. Ah, uh, people are so mad I haven't gotten rid of the rust on this. At this point, I'm just doing it to annoy you guys, and it's great. Well, looks like we're out, so I guess we're keeping one rim just rust. Goodbye, Bob Rust. I have to say, I unintentionally made this car look extremely nice. Uh, kind of weird, considering that's the whole goal. The whole goal is to make them look as ugly as possible. Anyways, I don't know if I, I don't think I have enough money, but I'm going to go over to the maple syrup place, assuming it isn't closed by now and see if we can pick up any new goodies from here. Plus, I still have some maple syrup to drop off, evidently. Hello, good sir. Uh, I want to buy... Ooh. Ooh, okay. We're definitely not getting the RO machine anytime soon. Ah! The can sealer, which is actually what I want the most of, so I can can my own maple syrup, because people get so mad when I buy it when I can just make my own. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Do I, I have to buy one can at a time? What the hell, man? Just, just give, me, give me a box of cans. All right, so yeah, all we need now is the RO machine. Oh, that would be really useful right now. But yeah, the RO machine, and then I guess we could also get the second plastic tank and do a whole different system, I believe. But after that, we have pretty much everything in this game, which is insane to think about. It really frustrates me that he sells seven cans. Actually, sorry, eight, uh, because we have one in the car. All right, so we got our cans. Let's go uh, cook some maple syrup so I don't have to buy it anymore. Okay, look at this little cute machine. Crimping machine, zero lids in. Oh, maybe I should have bought the extra lids. I didn't realize I could like stock them up kind of like the poutine maker. 
So we put them in there. 12 lids in. What do I have to do? Do I... Do I just take one of these out and... Oh! Is it filling it too? Oh, that is freaking magical. Look at that. I am making my own... This is actually really fun. I'm making my own maple syrup. This is so easy too. So I just got to buy cans every time. And yeah, I save $7 every time I need, need to drink a little bit of maple syrup. Damn it. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, we'll just do that one again. It doesn't look like it uses much at all either. So two cans did 237 out of 240. All right, there we go. And just like that, we got a week's worth of maple syrup made by me. And I'm already melting all the way back up to max thanks to everything that's automated in here now. This truly is a fantastic factory now. I'm just too lazy to deal with it. All right, guys. Well, our to-do board is definitely dwindling. There's still some things we can do. Most lists, as you can see, are fully done, though. Um, there's still a few small things like adding the second water tank, as I said. Um, claim five races in a row at the night meet. I don't think I get anything for that, but there's small things we can do. But I have been intentionally kind of waiting for some more updates that, to come out. I do know rallying is going to be a thing in this game. I don't know how in-depth that's going to be, but I'm very excited about that. We saw that the we, we have a grow up at our cabin that I can't use yet. Uh, so yeah, we kind of came to this game early. And yeah, I'm nearing the end now. So I think we'll just take a little bit of a break, wait for a new update, maybe furnish the place a bit. And uh, yeah, in a month or so, depending on when the update comes out, we'll come back out and survive as a Canadian once again. But I hope you guys are enjoying this journey. Thank you so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.